Leo, I am Rena Wells, your Divine Goddess Oracle, and I am here. I'm back. Sorry, guys. Had a run of sickness, and then I was away on an ayahuasca retreat, and I'm back, and then I got sick when I got back. So don't mind if I'm still a little, like, phlegmy sounding. <laughs> Sorry about that. But let's, uh, I'm here to do your reading for Divine Counterparts, Soulmates, and Twin Flames. And we're going to take a look at Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and we're going to see for your reading from April 1st to the 15th. So while you're at it, while you're here, hit a like, share, please. That would definitely help me out. And let's take a look here. Sun, moon, and rising, and Venus for my Leo. Leo. What is up with Leo? Let's take a look. We're going to take one from the top, one from the bottom. Top is for masculine, bottom is for feminine. Let's see what's going on with romance. Clear the energy. Sun, moon, and rising for Leo, please. What is going on, Leo? What is going on? All right. There's this one more and we are good to go. All right. Let's see here. Divine Masculine. Top card for Divine Masculine. Ooh, Leo. Getting some romantic feelings, are we? All right. So they're they're waking up to some Zaza Zing and romantic feelings for the Divine Feminine. And Divine Feminine, you are looking at reconciliation. Woo! Coming back together with your masculine. This is really beautiful. So they're starting to feel that Zaza Zing, the romance. Now, listen, guys, when it's divine counterparts, when it's truly a soul connection for the divine, it doesn't start off with romance. I'm, I'm sorry, I hate to say it, but it doesn't. That lust, lust is, you know, um, it's a very ego based human uh, connection. When you have a soul connection, it's it's peace, it's it's beautiful, it's deep friendship, it's you know, that romance gets ignited through that. So um these feelings are starting to come up for the masculine because I feel with this group that I'm channeling, it's like, you know, they felt something, they weren't sure, but now that um they've gone deeper within themselves, it's igniting something. It's it's um this, the feelings are really real now. They're really coming out. They're starting to trust them and realize, oh, yeah, this isn't how I felt romance before. Like, this is the thing. Romance may have felt one way before, so they couldn't they couldn't label it as that. Now they are feeling it, and the feminines are feeling it and wanting reconciliation. All right, let's take a look. Recent past for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus Spirit. What is going on for the Divine Masculine for Leo? One more. We're going to take a look subconscious and conscious patterns subconscious when i pull from the bottom is really um they tell a really wonderful story in regards to what is coming up to heal okay so let's see here so they want communication here okay they want communication to talk about traveling coming to see you and moving forward chariot we've got the world cycles closing out cycles now they're communicating they want to communicate that i'm closing out cycles so i can move towards you okay consciously they 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 want this spiritual path to start and they want to they're working really hard at this okay they want to be a team player with you they want to um come forward they want to, they're closing off cycles they want to communicate with you they want to uh yeah and they want this spiritual path they really do they want to offer their cup of love really beautiful Woo, leo they are they really want to come forward so subconsciously they're starting to feel it they, they want to rush towards you they want to close off cycles they want to start a new cycle they want to communicate they want to offer love they want to collaborate they want to work with you they want a spiritual beginning what that is amazing let's take a look at the divine feminine here for leo sun moon and rising what is going on with the divine feminine wanting reconciliation so divine feminines you must be feeling this right now all right, you must be feeling some of that romance and some of that zaza zing, and you're like, mm -hmm, what is up here with this energy? All right, this is for Divine Feminine Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising April 1st to the 15th Spirit. Let's take a look at the subconscious patterns that are coming up. And it's not that you're not aware of the subconscious. It's like they're starting to come into your consciousness, okay? So when I say I pull from the bottom, it's telling you this is what subconsciously is happening, what's coming up that's igniting all of this conscious stuff. 
So for the masculine, they know, you know, the drive to move on, the, the drive to end cycles and start a new cycle to communicate with you is wanting them to offer love, wanting them to work with you, wanting them to be in the spiritual home. Okay. All right. Divine Feminine's one more and we are ready to go. All right. Let's take a look here. So what's feeding up into the consciousness here for Divine Feminine's, we've got the Seven of Wands. Okay. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so, and we've got the king of pentacles here. So we've got a little defensiveness, okay, that's going on. Um, but you're also waiting and investing in this. And you're like, no, I'm waiting, I'm investing in this because I know that he's going to rise and come into this king of pentacles. Holding that sturdy stability is what you're doing. Okay, you're holding the ground. You are being a little defensive about it, you know, standing, you know, but in a rightful way is what I'm feeling. Like you're the king of the hill. You're like, Standing your ground and saying, this is what I'm, I'm waiting for. This is what I'm investing in. I know that this is what it's meant to be. And it's not that you're putting your life on hold either. I'm not feeling that you're doing that. You're, you're holding that space so that when they're ready to come, it's there and it's fruitful. Okay, we've got the Two of Cups. Beautiful. You want this connection with them. We've got the Four of Cups. So a little of apathy because you're trying to detach here, right? And we've got the Hermit. Okay, so, you know, Divine Feminines, you're trying to stay in that balance. So you're trying to, you know, I want this Two of Cups. Oh, my God, I'm feeling it. This is feeling really good. Um, but, you know, also we've got, sorry, this is Three of Cups. Was it Three of Cups? Yeah, we've got Three of Cups and Two of Cups. So union, you want this union, but you're also in the hermit mode. So you're also pulling back and staying within to get, keep that enlightenment, to hold that space, um, to, you know, rightfully defend what's yours and to, and because you've been investing in this and you're holding that stable ground for your divine masculine to come in. That's why you, uh, that's why you're manifesting this reconciliation. That's why they're starting to feel this and starting to move towards you. You're creating a really nice space. Hmm. Sorry, guys, I need to take a sip of water. Let's do some clarification on this. Really beautiful energy here for Leo's. Okay. Leo, sun, moon, and rising. Let's get some clarity here. What is going on with Leo? Leo, sun, moon, and rising. Get some clarity. What's going on with the masculine her spirit? We've got the masculine uh, really moving forward, ending cycles and starting new cycles, um, wanting to offer their love and move into the spiritual path and to collaborate teamwork let's see what is going on here yeah we've got a little apathy as well look at this okay we've got um do we not have apathy here i thought we had here for the no we don't I thought I saw the four. Maybe I just saw it in my head. I must have seen it in my third eye. We've got a little apathy here, kind of looking what they're lost, what they've lost, if they've made some major changes, um, not noticing this offer yet. So that's why the chariots and the subconscious not quite ready to move forward, but it is feeding a drive to offer their love somewhere else, okay? And to start the spiritual path and to start um, moving towards um, um, their divine feminine. Let's clarify a little bit more. Okay, spirit for divine masculines clarify you know their offering of love the apathy that they might be feeling why is this apathy here oh my god we need to shuffle again they, these cards have been feeling really sticky and i've cleaned them and i've i think it's just the energy is is um things are shifting really fast now that mercury retrograde is over i've been feeling it One more. Air in them. All right. Clarify the apathy here, spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So they're having some apathy because they're having some in and out energy. We've got the Knight of Wands here. They're not really sure how to offer. They're not sure how to start because, yeah, they're going through heartbreak right now. Okay. So they know that they need to close off cycles. They want to communicate this. They want to move forward. So they know that, that they're in some heartbreak. So they've had to pull back a little bit, okay? Because they are ending cycles of being trapped. And they're in a state of healing, okay? They're really in a state of healing. Yeah, see, look at this. They're create, there's a tower moment happening here that's causing a lot of pain. But it's ending these, this entrapment that they've been in. And so they're healing for this destiny. So... They want this. They want to come forward. They want to be in this, um, you know, 
a collaboration with you. They're ready to move forward and close cycles, but they're having a lot of pain or a lot of pain and they're healing. Okay. They're healing for this destiny. They're healing to end entrapment. They're, they're clearing this pain and this anxiety. They can't sleep. And so they, there is a tower moment that's happening. Now this is in the recent past. Okay. So it could be still filtering into the present. Let's take a look at the divine feminine. Divine feminine here is really wanting this two of cups in union. Um, Sitting and waiting and being a little defensive, um, but protecting her ground is what I'm seeing. Yet yeah, they want a brand new beginning. And to manifest this, we've got the magician. So they're holding this beautiful space for reconciliation for their divine masculine. Look at this. Taking control of the situation. Pull, And this is how twin flames work. Okay, it's not individualized, guys. You are one soul. You are a one soul working together. It's like the feminine here is holding that space for her masculine to come in and be like, you know, babe, I got, I got this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be in the ego. Look, I'm gonna hold the truth. Okay, that's what they're doing. That's what the divine feminine is doing here, holding truth, holding this manifestation of a new beginning, holding her emperor in her heart. Okay, it's really beautiful, beautiful work what you're doing for your masculines here. All right, let's take a look and see what's present happening with the masculine so this is the recent past that they've been in this anxiety they've been healing they're trying to end in um entrapments um the heartache and moving forward let's see where they are currently okay president spirit where is the divine masculines for leo sun moon and rising please what is going on for leo sun moon and rising for april 1st to the 15th what is going on with leo leo sun moon and rising for Leo. What is going on for Leo? Sun and rising and Venus presently for April 1st, 2015. I'm going to do one more. Okay. All right. Perfect. Let's take a look here. We're going to cut it. Um, all right. So subconsciously, yep, yeah, we've got the three of wands. They want to plan. Tower moment still happening, guys. So consciously, it's happening here. It's clarifying. That's what's happening. But subconsciously, there's still some more things because they're moving on. They're moving away from things that no longer serve them. Okay. I feel like taking care of the star again, they're still healing. There's still going to be more healing presently that they're going through. So they've made some big changes. They've been following their intuition. They've been looking at their secrets and their darkness in regards to family life. So whatever they've, sh they've shifted their foundation, they've shifted their stability. Okay. So this is where a lot of their healing's coming from because it's creating a tower moment. Things are falling apart. We've got five of swords. They're in conflict here. Okay. They're battling this conflict. Um, yeah, they feel defeated in their family life. They feel defeated in their foundation. They're using their best and their intuition to move forward. They're healing. There's more tower moments that are happening. So this present is moving. Sorry, this, pre this past of what's happening is moving into the present. We've got a lot of the same cards that are happening here. We've got the star that's happening, but here we've also got that they that they're they're moving on. Okay, they're moving and leaving things behind. We've got the tower twice. Okay, so a lot of things shifting for Leos. A lot for the masculine. All right, um, let's take a look at the feminine how they're marrying. What is going on for the divine feminine? So these masculines are really, but they're working on it. Okay. They're, they're, they're looking ahead and how they can plan because they know things are falling apart. So they're, they're, they're in a visionary state too. They're like, how can I move on and move towards this? I'm healing now. I'm in conflict. I feel defeated in my home life, but I'm going to use my intuition. They're following their intuition. They're following their gut feelings. They're going where they're being guided, which is beautiful. Okay. Let's see what's going on with the divine feminines presently. What are they, how are they marrying here? They're masculine. Sun, moon, and rising for Leo, please, spirit. Sun, moon, and rising for Leo, April 1st to the 15th. What is going on for Divine Feminines? One more. What is going on for Divine Feminines? Sun, moon, and rising. Sorry, I feel like one more, guys. Sun, moon, and rising here. All right. Perfect. Okay. We've got three of pentacles. So here, mirroring again, we've got three of pentacles up here. Okay, working as a team in their recent past, in the present um, divine feminines are feeling this because they want balance. They want to work together. They want to balance things out because this is their wishes fulfillment. All right. We've also got here the world here. 
Um, I feel like I need to take these two, the world and the Ten of Cups. We've got that. We, you know, I want divine feminines here. Like I want this new cycle closing off cycles for emotional happiness. We've got justice is being served. Okay. Justice is going to currently be served to you. Divine feminines. Okay. Um, what work that they're doing here, you're going to get just cause for everything that you've been through feminines, everything that they're working through, they're clearing, they're moving away from things. This is just cause they're doing the work for, look at the soulmate connection. You're going to be able to make proper decisions now for this soulmate connection. You've got the uh, page of swords and you're going to be able to communicate this as well. Okay. We've got the sun. Things are becoming illuminated. So presently, Divine Feminines, you're becoming illuminated illuminated more to the soulmate connection. You are feeling that there's a new cycle that's coming. You know that you want to work with your Divine Masculine. And they want to work with you too because they realize that in the recent past, that's what's ignited them to change. Okay? They've realized the connection and needed healing. So presently, they're really stirring up their foundation now. Okay? They're leaving that stuff behind. And you, Divine Feminines, are like, okay, I'm going to make proper decisions now for this soulmate connection. I'm going to communicate this. I'm going to I'm illuminated to this. There's new cycles that are coming in. I'm going to work as a team. I want this emotional abundance because this is my wishes fulfillment. Aho. Let's take a look here at clarifying. Spirit, please clarify. For the masculine. So there is a mirroring that's definitely going on. You both are in a world situation, closing off cycles, realizing new cycles are needing to start um, using your intuition for things. Uh, what else was there? Um, justice making decisions. Okay, they've had the justice card as well that was up here, I believe. But yeah. All right. Let's take a look here. Let's clarify. Okay. Sun, moon, and rising, please, for Leo. They're shaking up their foundation spirit. Leos are changing and, and bringing a major town. Did you see that card fly out of here? Defending. They're standing their ground with this. They're, and So that's what Divine Feminines were doing here, standing and creating that space up here, right? Remember, you have the Seven of Wands right here. Yeah, being a little defensive, but you're, you're guarding yourself. You're like, no, this is what I want. That's my Divine Masculine. I'm not relenting. They're not relenting either now. In their, out, in their present moment, they are not relenting. They're like, this is what I want. I'm moving on. They are definitely moving on. Look at this unapologetically for it. They know they, they're doing self-love to be single for their soulmate connection, okay? They're clearing karma. Whatever karmic cycles they've had, they're definitely clearing it and doing self-love, okay? Yeah, look at this, so that they can come forward and offer a cup of love. They wanted to do that here in the past as well, right? But now they're ready in, in the present. They want to come forward and offer this. Yeah, they're tired of being left out in the cold, so they're defending their choices now. They're done. They're ready to plan and move ahead. They're healing. There's still some tower moments that are happening, but they're ready to move forward. So whatever it is that they're changing, it's starting. Okay. Let's clarify the divine feminine. There's some decisions that you need to make divine feminine for the soulmate connection. You're becoming illuminated to much more um, with your happiness and closing off cycles and wanting to work as a team for which is fulfillment for your divine masculine. You are changing. Things are going to end in your life now too, okay? They're they're not the only ones that are going through this. Your cycles are ending in a big way presently. So allow these things to happen, okay? Yeah. Allow these things to happen. You may feel some conflict, okay? In this union, okay, and making decisions, but these this is major. This is major. you've got two major arcanas here. You've got death closing off cycles for this connection, okay? You're going to feel a little conflict about it. You may feel conflicted. You may feel a little defeated in it. I swear to saying you've been doing great holding this ground. This is your wishes fulfillment. So let's clarify that. Why are why are so why are divine feminines feeling conflicted here, spirit, with the with the death and the lovers? <laughs> it's almost like you're afraid that this is your wishes fulfillment. Is this really happening? <laughs> um <laughs> things are shifting. You've got to let go of any conflict that you've been holding, okay? Any things that you've been feeling defeated by your ego, anything that's been holding you back, let that go now because there's a new cycle. Spirit is coming in to end things and to start fresh in this in this union, okay? 
there's decisions that you're going to have to make about this. Yeah, Spirit is asking you to go within, okay? Hold that stable ground still. You're becoming illuminated. Um, there's like, if there's like third party situation, it's about, that. that's what I feel is why um, that's ending, okay? That um, this card here being conflicted because there may have been a third party situation in your union that was coming in, into your union. And so I feel like you're feeling, okay, well, this is still shady. I'm still going to be defensive about that. Spirit is like, that is coming to an end now. Hold that stable ground. Things are becoming illuminated. Okay. That's why you're feeling conflicted about this union. And that's why it was in between the lovers here and, and the death card. Okay. I'll just move that down here so you can see, um, the spirit's like, no, this is coming to an end, this third-party situation. Whatever was shady, that's coming to an end. And clarify this here, spirit, the, the seven of swords. Clarify this. Clarify the seven of swords. Yeah, you're going to have victory and success out of it, okay? So don't worry about that. That's what spirit is saying, what they've been working through and ending those foundations in their home life, okay? Let's... um. That's presently what's happening. So you got to stay going within, staying stable, keep holding that space, keep become, being, becoming illuminated and going within, okay, for this connection. All right. Let's see what the outcome is for the masculine. We're just going to shuffle and see what falls out. Spirit, what is the outcome for April 1st to the 15th? For Divine Masculines, we've got working really hard. Defending their hard work, okay, and their decisions. They're going to make decisions in the near future, and they're going to stand by it and work hard at them and defend them. They're not letting anything. These masculines are like, I'm done. I'm done. I am, Look at this. They are standing in their king of pentacles. They are going to be stable. You holding this king of pentacles, divine feminines, you holding it up here, and you holding it up here in the recent past. We had that as well. King of pentacles. I'm going to go through king of pentacles. But you holding that, they're feeling it. It's helping them. They're going to have that as an outcome. They're going to cut things out that no longer serve them. That's what the divine map, they're not, they're defending their hard work and cutting things out now. Okay. Clarify the two of swords here. Yeah. They're cutting out old commitments and for a higher cause now. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Really good. Because they're feeling it. And you want a reconciliation. So let's see, divine feminines, what's the outcome for divine feminines for the first to the 15th place spirit thank you burdened you can see that a lot with divine feminines You're feeling a little burdened i know it's been a long journey divine feminines oh tell me i know it's been a long journey it's always up and down but you know what it's it's part of the it's worth it let me tell you it's worth it okay we've got a burdens about new beginnings something stable that's coming forward and strength okay still taming that ego so divine feminines yeah things are a bit of a burden and this new beginning is coming forth and you want a stable new beginning and taking that leap of faith but you're also still taming your ego at the same time i feel like divine feminines here are just really tired and just burdens like when is this going to happen but try not to look at it when it's going to happen i know that's hard keep trying to hold your yeah look cycles are ending okay that it's a burden <laughs> but keep trying to hold your ground and say this it is worth it i'm gonna keep i've learned so much in this journey even if without expectation, if it does happen, I'm going to just keep holding my ground, okay? Yeah, we've got the Queen of Cups holding your emotions in check, all right? Let's get clarity for the rest of the outcome for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. What else, Spirit? Do you have any other messages here to clarify for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, okay? So Spirit is like saying, recognize you both want to teamwork together and want this commitment. So it's, it, it's good that you're investing, okay? Recognize your other options so that you stay balanced in your emotions, okay? That doesn't mean that you sit and wait and you don't cl you close yourself off to anybody else or, or anything like that. It's like you have to be allowing and be committed to the higher calling and be committed that this teamwork is going to happen and that you're going to be giving all these different options and you're going to be able to invest in things. Um, doesn't mean that you wait from a place of ego that you're closing yourself off. It's a waiting that you're open to receiving everything. So you become balanced. Okay. Let's see what other messages we have here for angel answers. And that will be your reading. I love how messy my table gets. <laughs> I love how it looks. All right, so colorful. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Leos? Please send me in rising. 
Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for April 1st to the 15th. And Venus for Twin Flames and Soul Counterparts, please. Any messages here for April 1st to the 15th for Leo. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, we'll see what other messages, what messages come forward here. What's going on here for Leo? What's going on for Leo? What messages do you have, Spirit? Listen to your intuition, guys. All right? Listen to your intuition. Right now is not the right time. And that's, you know, this is a lot of healing that's going on. So you want reconciliation. It's coming down the line. There are romantic feelings. Things are building up. But it's not the right time right now, okay? There is going to be an opportunity. So just keep listening to your intuition. There is things that are going to be happening. You just got to trust and have faith. Don't stop. Don't stop believing. All right, guys. That was your reading, Leos. Much love. If you'd like a personalized reading, all of my information is down below. Much love, you guys. Take care. Aho. Bye.